giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. Hello everyone, welcome to Mediacom News Leaders. I'm Carol Kelly. Joining us today from the Alzheimer's Association of East Central Iowa, Natalie Meyer. Natalie, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. So you do a number of events, fundraisers specifically, all throughout the year, but you do have one coming up this summer called The Longest Day. Tell yes. us about that. Yeah, so The Longest Day is on June 21st, our summer solstice, and it revolves around love. So it's showing support and love for those who provide um, care to people living with Alzheimer's disease, those with the disease, and then also in honor of those who have passed away from Alzheimer's disease. Um, so the goal of this day is to have people pick an event or um, activity that they enjoy doing and live that out in honor of someone or, you know, an activity that they enjoy themselves. Because, you know, essentially for those with the disease or caring for someone with the, with the disease, this is the longest day for them every day, so. Talk to us about how someone would participate. How does that work? Yeah, so pretty much all activities are welcome. You can do pretty much anything and everything from biking. If you're in a cycling club, you could have an event um, with a fundraising component to it. Um, you could do knitting, baking, we've pretty much seen it all. It could be with your close friends and family or throughout the community. Um, and it's just a nice way to get creative and you can participate just as yourself. You could register with a team or you could host like a barbecue or picnic, some type of event. So, so if someone wanted to, they, they've put together the activity that they want to do, how do they get registered and, and is there a fundraising um, minimum that they have to raise? Um, there's not a minimum, but I mean, obviously, you know, the more the better. <laughs> but um, you could go first to our website, and that's alz.org backslash the longest day. Um, and from there, it's pretty self explanatory. You, you need to decide do I want to host an event? Do I want to sign up with a team or by myself, like I had mentioned? Um, and then from there, you kind of need to get the word out. So if you want to, you know, create flyers, if you needed help with any of that, we're here to help with that as well. Um, and then from there, kind of get everything planned out and, and on the day of, just have fun, you know, for a great cause, so. And it is all about planning in advance. Again, yes. when is that day? It's June 21st, but you can pretty much host your event anytime throughout June. It's encouraged whenever you can, because June 21st this year will be a Thursday, so that's hard for some people to get to. Normally people do it the weekend before or weekend after. Tell us a little bit about specific, where the, the funds go specifically. Yeah, so every dollar raised um, helps benefit those affected by Alzheimer's disease within your own community. Um, so whether that be through programs that we have um, all throughout Waterloo Cedar Falls, or um, it could be just through our 24-7 helpline that we have as well. Um, it also is a great way to help get research going, you know, for treatment, prevention, and ultimately we're aiming for a cure, so we want to have that that first survivor of Alzheimer's disease. And it's also a great way for people to advocate for those who can't, you know, speak up on their own behalf at times, and it's a great way to get it um, heard at every level of the government. So it's, it's a great way to support a great cause. What are some of the successes that you've had or you've heard of or, or different unique events that people have done for the longest day? Um, a big one would be, I know cycling is a really big one. It's, it's been great. People bike all throughout their town if they have trails. Um, they bike 24-7, you know, they just get it going every hour. They'll have new cyclists out and that's been really fun to see. Also, bake sales have been pretty successful and it's a great way for families to bond and, you know, do different things like that, so. Talk to us too about other fundraising events that you do have going all year round. Yeah, so um, in the fall, every fall we have the Walk to End Alzheimer's and this year in the Cedar Valley it'll be September 22nd and that'll be taking place at Gateway Park as well. So it's, it's a nice way for the community to come together, raise money, and then walk in honor of those with Alzheimer's disease. So. And it's probably not too early to get registered for that. Yeah, Where no, can you can someone learn about that event? Yes, you can go to our alz.org website, and from there, it, it, there will be a, several links just to click on, and it, it'll walk you through how to register. So again, pull together your activity, and that is the longest day. Tell us about when that is, and where someone can just learn about all the great uh, opportunities at the Alzheimer's Association. Yeah, so alz.org would be a great place. 
there's a bunch of different links on there for anything you want to get registered for. Um, and the longest day, it's backslash the longest day, and it's pretty straightforward on registering. And if you do have any, if anyone had any questions, they can definitely email me or contact me, and I would be glad to help them out. Well, we wish you the best. Natalie, thank you awesome. so much. Awesome. Thank you. This has been Mediacom News Leaders, your opportunity to get the full story from the most reliable sources exclusively on Mediacom News Leaders.